70% of the results of your broilers depends on your ability to create optimal circumstances. Optimal circumstances are heavily dependent on climate control, water management, litter management. Each of these parameters has a huge impact on the technical performance of your broilers. Climate control. To create optimal circumstances, you need to know how to recognize a comfortable chicken. As we explained in the brooding tutorial, you know when your chicks are comfortable by looking at the way they are distributed in your house. The optimal climate for broilers changes every day. Featherless chicks are not able to control their own body temperature and require a high temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, whilst during finisher phase, the birds have a much lower optimal temperature. You can adjust the temperature when it's too low by heating your house with charcoal or gas. Make sure to maintain ventilation and check for potential carbon monoxide poisoning. It is mostly safe for you and your chicks to have a carbon monoxide detector in your brooding house. You can control the temperature also by ventilation, especially during the night when temperature is often lower. Curtains can help to keep the warmth inside your house. Hot air rises, cold air goes down. To prevent cold air creating a cold draft, open your curtains from top to bottom. Moving air creates a lower rear fuel temperature. Temperature can be lowered by increasing air speed. Air speed can be created through natural ventilation or by placing ventilators in your pen. Make sure that natural ventilation and additional ventilators are working alongside each other and do not oppose. A chicken can only cool herself by panting and opening the feather pack. Panting chickens drink more than they eat and grow less. Cooling down with ventilation creates moving air. If the air movement is too severe, the chickens shelter on the floor and will not move to the feeders resulting in lower feed intake and lower growth. This is why in hot areas, broiler houses are equipped with air conditioning. The final way to cool your broilers is to provide cold, fresh water. Water is not only very important for growth, but it is also a tool for climate control. Never leave your broilers without water. They can survive three days without feed, but will not last a day without water. Water is essential for the transport of nutrients, digestion, and most of the bodily functions. Water quality is essential for the water intake. A rule of thumb is, if you are able to drink the water provided, the quality is good. Keep your drinkers clean from droppings. Remove the small layer or algae regularly, the slimy layer. Use water sanitizers to prevent bacterial growth. Avoid the use of additives through your drinking water because it can enhance E. coli bacteria. Regularly rinse the water lines. The water intake increases with increasing feed intake. Approximately water intake is 1.5 times the feed intake. Make sure the capacity of your drinkers is large enough to provide your broilers with all the water they need every day. The required amount of water at day 7 is about 50 milliliters. At day 35, this is 275 milliliters, which is 5 times higher. Make sure the water tank capacity caters for the additional amounts. Adjust the height of the drinkers so the broiler can access water spilling. Always clean the water after raking the litter. Good quality litter is dry and supports a healthy living environment for the broilers. Never change the litter throughout a round. Changing litter causes stress and is undesirable. Hence, it is very important to physically work the litter. Wet litter releases ammonia, which affect the respiratory health and could affect feed intake as well as livability. Avoid wet litter by sufficient ventilation, raking wet spots, prevent leakage and spilling of water. Good feed and poor circumstances will lead to poor results. 
Optimizing the circumstances in combination with good fit will give you 100% fit performance. Would you like to know more about feeding strategies for your farm? Then go to the website of Cowardice. Our specialists are happy to help you.